resources in this area are limited. Can I help you? We're not taking in anyone new, and the doors are all locked. Hi there. We're not looking to cause any trouble. Trouble is all there is on Kadara. We just want to be left alone and... Wait. I don't believe it. You look like a Pathfinder. Doing my best. I'm from Ark Hyperion. Looks like you've got a good thing going here. We're refugees hiding on a world of exiles. We got kicked out of the Nexus, swept away in the Uprising. We weren't looking to take sides or anything. We just wanted to eat. Then we found this place. Remote, sheltered from the crazies in the Badlands. And the bedrock here filters the water. If you can spare the time, we could use your help. Speak to the others and they'll fill you in. I'll unlock the doors. Is he okay? No. Running a fever. Something weird bit him and he's got an infection. Usually remedies don't work on the venom. Anything we can do for him? Unless you can conjure up some sort of antibiotic out of thin air, I don't know. So it's true. Pathfinders do exist. I'd offer you something to eat, but I'm afraid our food supply is tight. Waiting for these to ripen. It's okay. We're fine. I'm surprised you managed to grow anything here. A unique quirk of the bedrock in this area filters the water. That and a supply of UV lights. When we were exiled from the Nexus, I grabbed a crate. That was some quick thinking. Small details can save the day. I knew if we were going to be stranded in Helios, food would be hard to grow. <laughs> we're the lucky ones. I feel sorry for the poor souls in the Badlands. A pang of guilt whenever I eat. Why don't you take a few of these UV lights with you? Maybe others can grow food too. <laughs> Anything to help this miserable hellhole. Oh, hi there. Something wrong? It's just hard. Exiled from the Nexus. My mother's still back there. I never said goodbye. Have things gotten any better? Better than it was. It'll take time, but life might actually get back to normal. Oh, that's good to hear. I just wish I could talk to my mom. I've been trying to reach her, but our equipment's broken. Not sure it would matter. The Nexus is so far away. Never know. I could take a look. Would you? That would mean the world.
communications junction is out of alignment. With an adjustment, a signal could reach the Nexus. There. Let's go see if that did the trick. Mom? Vera? Is that you? Thank the goddess. Mom, are you okay? Oh, Miria, I've been so worried. I thought you were gone forever, but it's really you. I'm on Kadara. I'm okay. I miss you so much, Mom. I think about you every day, Miria. Someday we'll be reunited. There's a Pathfinder now, Ryder. She seems to know what she's doing. <laughs> it's the reason we're talking. They helped fix our equipment. Well, give them a hug for me. This changed everything. I've got a reason to go on now. Goodbye, Mom. We'll see each other soon. Thank you. That meant everything. detector picked up the scan. That'll be hard to explain away. Well, dead is a kind of reasonable. Someone got to them first. And destroyed Ashland's missing parts. The hell did this?
Found your scavengers. Dead. A fiend got them. And the turbine parts? Destroyed. Nothing left but scrap. <sighs> I'll take satisfaction knowing my yard drive isn't being used by a bloody scav. Thanks, Pathfinder. What do you think about Kadara? Smells like weak old eggs and curdled milk. So you regret leaving the Nexus? Pathfinder, I regret leaving the Milky Way. But if Kadara's taught me one thing, it's that there's no time for regrets. Live in the present or die thinking about the past. Who runs the wind farm? It's a communal effort. Everyone helps maintain the turbines. But me and the Solarian are the only trained technicians. So, naturally, that puts us in charge. Does the Solarian have a name? Yeah, and if he was ever nice, I'd use it. Until then, he's just the Solarian. Stay safe. Yeah, sure. Yeah? Stay safe. Yeah, sure. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Minerals have been depleted in this location.
That da looks nicer than the other ones we've come across. Could have decent supplies. They're all dead. How did this happen? I don't see signs of an attack. Scanning the bodies could provide a clue. Blackened stomach and ulceration, consistent with poisoning by sulfuric acid. Most likely from consuming Kadara's water without proper filtration. Kadara has been home to Angara for centuries. They would never drink unfiltered water. I suggest we examine the town's water supply. Huh. It's encrypted. Sam, can you get us in? Yes. One moment, please. This log belonged to Skylar Yafir, an Angara who lived here. Play the first log, Sam. More and more aliens keep showing up. They are desperate, dirty things who will pay anything for a slab of ardhi and clean water. I thought all was lost when the cat invaded, but maybe our luck's changing. Let's hear the second log. Today, I caught one of the aliens studying our filtration system. I had Karina and her sisters guard the facility. If these exiles learn how to make their own water filters, they won't need us anymore. Final log, Sam. Some of the aliens have set up shelter not far from here. They call it Caribdis Point. A band of them came today demanding we hand over our water filters. Karina and the others were able to drive them off. But I fear the desperate look in their eyes. That's enough. Quite the menu. Filtration center. If they had this, why were they drinking poisoned water? I could provide an analysis via the scanner pathfinder. Someone has tampered with the filter. The Angara ingested only enough sulfuric acid to be lethal over time. But not enough that they'd notice right away. Skylar's log mentioned trouble with exiles. Let's check out this car at this point.
Pathfinder, we are nearing Kara at this point. The exile camp mentioned in Yafia's logs. We should talk to whoever's in charge and search the area for clues. Pathfinder. Then Jarev claimed he buried the Ket transponder near this location. Found it. Well, that's busted. The transponder's power source is drained. So let's juice it up. Turn it on, then Gil can work his magic. Once complete, this should provide us with the Archon's location, and in turn, Meridian's. See? We're halfway there already. Loving the positivity! Water filters. The make and design matches those found in the Angaran town. Guess it was too much to hope exiles weren't involved. So much death. <sighs> and for what? Hey. What are you doing in here? A better question is, where do you get the design for these water filters? Leave it alone. Before you can't. You murdered an entire town. I'm not leaving until I know why. We came to them. Starving. Dying of thirst. But instead of helping us, those flapheads bled us dry. Credits. Clothes. Weapons. They took everything. Not everything. You survived. You set up here. The Angara are the only ones who know how to properly filter this planet's water. All we wanted was to be self-sufficient. I offered to pay for the designs. They refused. So you poisoned them? And took all their business. You're a monster. No. I'm a survivor. Kill them. <laughs> I get some justice. Thank you, Ryder.
Andromeda plant sample detected nearby. Another memory trigger? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further.